Hello, my name is Valentin Hamburger and today I want to show you how simple it is to deploy a complete ESXi host using UCP Director. Um, so I'm in vCenter Web Client and you can only tell that this is a UCP Director enabled vCenter by this little icon over here which says UCP Director. But all the other um, um, functionalities are built into vCenter directly so there is no need to actually switch to a separate screen or <clears throat> switch to a separate management instance to um, show you what we can do with UCP Director. Now today I want to add another host to my payload section. So I have three hosts already in this cluster. They're all set up and installed using AutoDeploy and AutoDeploy comes pre-configured from the UCP Director management cluster which you see here. Um, so I don't have to, to change anything here but I can also leverage and use AutoDeploy and the image um, technology from VMware. Um, now let's get started. So I want to add another host. So I can switch here to inventory lists and um, it inventory lists all the green uh, icons are UCP director tasks and things you can actually add. So we, we integrated completely in the vCenter inventory list functionality with the web client. Uh, the good news is for everybody who loves the old C Sharp client, uh, we're also integrating in the C Sharp client. But for now let's use the web client. Um, so here we have a section called um, service templates and service templates is um, a functionality from your CP director where you can actually create the template for um, For a special purpose. So for instance, I have a couple of templates here I have one for vSphere standalone one for the whole cluster which includes three hosts one for another cluster which is a different configuration and one for Linux bare metal where I can actually deploy a bare metal host you heard me there, you can use vCenter to deploy bare metal host and not just Linux, you can also deploy Windows directly on the blade. But for now, we want to show how to do this with vSphere. So I just click on this vSphere standalone and click on apply and then it brings up a screen and in the screen it will show me in a second which blades I have available to actually put the um, template onto. So one of the blades is uh, in slot number five it's part of it's uh, and it's a HP3 blade. So here I can select the profile which I have pre-created. It's a uh, it's called um, UCP Blade 4, and in this profile, all I did is actually set a BIOS uh, setting, set the BIOS settings, um, set the WWN numbers and the MAC addresses, and also um, configured the template to use one IP out of our preset IP pool. So we have a pre-negotiated preset IP pool in our environment and whenever I deploy a blade it can check out an IP from that pool. If you don't like this you can also set a fixed IP with a template but in my case it's easier to use the pool functionality. And then I click submit and then UCP Director will create a job which says um, deploy service template. If I click here it, it gets me directly to the job view and then you see that there's already stuff ongoing. Uh, it gives me information what's 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 uh, going on in the system. I can easily um, refresh the screen by just clicking this. And you see it's it's already very busy doing stuff. It's applying the server profile, um, powering on the server, making sure that everything runs. So, but this is already quite nice. But you don't have to stay in that window. All you have to do is. Um, um, refresh your vCenter and you will see that there is a new task at the bottom. And this task is called uh, Komitachi UCP Template Apply Label. And with be, be, behind this cryptic name, it's actually the task you just saw in UCP Director because UCP Director is playing one-to-one -one all the messages into vCenter. So everything happening in UCP Director, you'll see and witness in vCenter. So if we click here on more tasks and we click the task and you see that in here I have exactly the same messages. So it says applying service uh, profile, send a request to power on, successfully powered on, succeed changing power state. So while the deployment is ongoing you will see all the information in here and all the tasks UCP Director is doing are actually reflected. Now while we're waiting for the task to complete let's quickly check our service in the system and see if we can open a console to see what's going on and where the install system is. Let's switch to servers and you see this is the service in the chassis and you see there is already a blade named UCP Demo 4 
let's quickly select it and then just click on the open open console link to this server and see what's actually going on. And as you can see, it's an up and running ESSI host as we see in the console. And um, now if I switch over to vCenter and I look into my hosts and clusters, uh, just refresh the view and I see there is a new up and running ESXi host named UCP Demo 4 ready to be used, ready to be added to the cluster. That simple. All we did was two times of clicking and then UCP Director to take care of the rest, auto deploy take care of installing ESXi and it's up and running host. So have fun deploying ESXi hosts using UCP Director. It's that easy. Thank you very much for listening.